Okay. I'm um, saying so welcome everybody. We got another episode of Let's Talk About It, where we talk about anything, everything, everything, anything from my own thoughts, from the topics of my guests, or anything that you guys submit. Now today I got a guest. Her name is Kendra. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Yes, yes, I'm Kendra Crump, aka the Asian. I see because I have the head nigga in charge. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> All right, that's what that's what I want to first say. First thing I want to say, uh, coming from like, let me tell y'all something, man. Before I go tell tell y'all where I'm coming from. All right. Um, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I, I I'm so much of the Asian I see around here. That's my my Wi-Fi name. Right, it's H and I C and H and I C too. And I was gonna actually put that on my like my um my tag for for the plate license plate and whatnot. <laughs> uh, but it's too expensive, so I'm like, no, let me just have random numbers that they already got for me. Okay, so first thing I want to say about that. But I'm from Atlanta, hot land, and it's so hot out there. Where actually, I remember one time I tried cooking an egg. Like I got a egg. It's like the dumb things that we do as kids, right? So I got the it, it started sizzling, and I like flipped it over, and it cooked some, and I washed it away because I wasn't about to eat that. Y'all thought, come on now, y'all bet y'all thought, dang, I bet she ate it. I didn't eat that. Hey man, you can't waste good food out here. <laughs> you know what? Now that I'm now that I'm a little older now, I know don't waste no good food. I know that. I know that for a fact. I'm about to say all the starving people. Yeah, man, that egg would have went good with some biscuits and some ham or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and and so for me per se. I know better. Like, did you did you ever eat dirt as a kid? I'm mean, honestly probably like at daycare we was always outside just trying the thing. So we might have seen something and be like you know what they said dirt don't hurt. <laughs> yeah, well, honey, I, I couldn't. I wasn't as free spirited as as you were. I, I think like I, I never. The only thing I can say like as a kid that I try eating and I don't care for today is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I just. I don't care for them. I'm like, I'm, you what? know, I know I'm a part of a group of people. I don't like watermelon either. What? Take my black card. Yeah, definitely. That's a, a swipe you were taking away from you. Yeah, like. I know. I know. I'll look, but guess what I will eat? I'll eat just regular peanut butter sandwich. That's it. That's that, it. I, I, that's a rule out on that one because like peanut butter, I mean, it's one of my favorite things. It, it's so much protein. It's strong. It's heavy. It's cost efficient, especially when you're on a budget. But like the without the jelly, it just seems like it's missing something. Like having the Kool-Aid with no sugar. Like you feel like you're just missing something. <laughs> you know what? You you're right. And again, well, that that's what makes me unique because like like okay, so let me ask you something. What's something that you don't really care for that, that people whenever you tell them, they're like, What? What what's like what's a what's like a food for you or a drink or so? Um, yams and anything pop related. <laughs> You say anything that's pop, like like any sodas? Any any soda, period. No, I don't drink it. I don't want it. Don't offer it. Keep it. <laughs> got you. Got you. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I like yams. They're fine. I don't eat, like, red meat and pork or shrimp or crab legs. Like, I don't care for crab legs. Like, people like, oh, my, like, girls love crab legs, right? So I'm just like, well, I'm a girl. Let me go try some crab legs. Like, it's just part of us being women, right? No, I couldn't do it, man. Just, it. Just, it did, and it's slap for me, man. Like so, and I always tell men, man, if you want a woman to really fall in love with you, dip your penis in some crab leg juice. They gonna flock to you. They are gonna be like kitty cats on top of a roof. Now they just won't leave you alone. That's cause like them crab legs ain't common. Like you can always get you some from McDonald's, but you're not about to just pop up with some crab legs. Like oh, I feel like you might not have had it from the right person. Cause like my sister, she make her mother, she makes great crab legs. Like it, they them hit. I be enjoying them every time she make them. I just be like I be looking for them. So I think it depends on who makes them because like when it's seasoned right. Probably it, so. Mm, man. They both, I mean, but both times I tried them, they just tasted the same. I just I couldn't get with it. But you know what's so crazy? I was looking at this woman on YouTube, and she actually makes over a million a year just having mukbangs of crab legs, black lady, right? And the, and she's married and has some kids. And the first thing I thought was like, bro. I know her vagina tastes and smell like some McDonald's pocket change. Cause I mean, come on now, that's all that you're eating, and I could tell like she like her face was breaking out like she like you know how you look at a woman's like they makeup job, and I'm like, bro, I can still look at the bumps. Yo, your makeup is is deplorable right now. Like you can just tell in a way. Well, 
Yeah, honey, I know for a fact her skin, her whole body is just reeking of a filth. A filth. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding? And think that like, you know, that's all that should be eating. I'm like, I know your body's all back though. I bet when she goes to the restroom, she be just having a couple of rocks just drop out her butt. That's crazy. You know, <laughs> be, she be trying to rock back and forth, like rock the boat, right? Rock her butt, try to make the uh, rocks come out. It don't be coming out. I'm just, I know for a fact, man. I know this. Hey, I mean, people will do what they gotta do for that money. So I'm like, that that I, meal just I, might I, satisfy her, her bathroom time, her her facial expression, complexion, skin, all that. She's like, you know what? That little meal, she might have to bite the bullet on it. <laughs> I, I, I guess, but for me, I, I love. Let me tell you something. Only black folks will sit here, like, cause I eat very healthy. So only black folks will sit here and make fun of you for eating healthy. Oh, look at this nigga eating a salad. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not on the Popeyes greasy ass chicken train that you are drinking Hennessy and and now letters and everything else. I'm sorry I'm not on that same train smoking mid with y'all. Come on now, help hey. as well. Hey, no, like, seriously, though, like, I literally, I'm that person in the family who's always eating a salad. Like, they go get Chick-fil-A, I be like, I'm cool, I get my little greens and stuff, and everybody be looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? Like, nigga, I'm doing, treating my body right, like, what are you doing? Like, literally, like you said, like, they got their chicken, they got their liquor, they got their, some of my family smoke, not a lot of them, but, like, they, if, if I'm with them people, they'll have their weed next to them, and they be chilling. They be like, yeah, these my greens. Smoking black and mild, too. smoking black and mild. Well, yeah, depending on who it is. <laughs> you know what? I like I like the smell of black and miles from afar, but I hate it up close. Like I'm kind of weird like that. I like that smell, but up close, I don't like. I can't do it. And then it's like the person who's, who who is smoking it. It's like I, I just feel like it's just reeking of something. I've hit a couple of black and miles. I'm like, oh, this is what the hype is about. Okay, well, I, I'm cool on it. Yeah, I be canceling. I cancel out all types of smoking. That's why, like I'm glad most of my people don't smoke because they know I hate it. Like I hate the smell of it. I hate the air of it. Like the one time I was really hot boxed and that was because I was trying to be a nice person and stay for their birthday. But like they hot boxed the whole room. I almost died. I'm like, this, this ain't oh it. God. I'm just like, <laughs> like I never breath. Like I was wheezing. I'm like, <clears throat> like I'm up there trying to gasp for breath. It was so hot in there. I'm like, yeah, no, this is, this is what y'all live for. This can't be me. Like, <laughs> that, that's terrible. Um, they apologize or they just didn't care? No, they was like, I didn't know that you had some weak ass lungs. He's like, it's like, you know what? All right. I feel that. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, are, y'all, are y'all still cool or, or at, at oh, yeah. past y'all just kind of, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to say, it's just the fact though. It was like, you know I don't smoke and you know I hate this, but you know what? I will give you this one day because it's your birthday and the other 364 days of the year, like me and you, we got some issues. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but that's like how how most of me and my friends are. Like we we have like the one moments where we try to like get ahead of each other or like force each other to do something that's kind of like out of the ordinary just to you know experience something. And at times it works. Like when we took each other like rock climbing and stuff and do some activities, like that was cool. That was cool. But then other times where they want to do things like swimming, I'm like ah nah nah. But then again, like that one time in the year, they're like yeah man, we're gonna go to the beach. We're going to go here, 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 <clears throat> and you're going to come all the way to the water, meet your neck, and I'm just like, ah, oh, nah, yeah. See, like, I can't, like, me and swimming is not my friend anymore. Like, I remember back when I was young, me and my, my grandmother took me to Alabama to go see our cousins. And we're at one of the little, little beaches or whatever, in a little lake area. So we over there, and, like, I'm in the water, I'm having fun, and then all, somehow I slip. Like, I don't know how I slipped on wet sand, or in the water. So I slip, I'm falling up underneath the water, and, like, I'm up there gasping for air. I'm jumping, I'm crawling, I'm clawing, like, I'm trying to get up underneath the water. And, like, I had read in a book, like, literally, like, three days later, I mean, three days earlier, that if you go underwater three times, that's a wrap. So, like, I'm up there trying to get up out the water, and, like, on my third time, like, I definitely fail. But, like, I'm in the water, I'm clawing, I'm jumping, and then, like, I finally got to ground, and, like, I'm all onto the land, and I'm just, <gasps> and my grandmother finally come over, and she like, wait, 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 you, your grandma was supposed to be watching you, but she just turned her back? Grandma was over there, supposed to be watching me, she with my cousins, and then she finally come over, like, 10 minutes after I almost died, she's like, you having fun? I'm like, I almost died, she's talking about, oh, I thought you was enjoying yourself, and you could, you was expressing what? it, I'm like, what? I'm throw like, grandma what? away, I'm sorry, but throw grandma I'm away, like, at that point, that's when she lost my trust. I'm like, yeah, I can't deal with you. <laughs> is, 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 how's grandma doing now? 
I mean, she good. She have her moments where she just be tripping, but like, I ain't gonna fake. My grandmother is just hilarious. Like, she called me over um last week because she was like, the remote didn't work. And she was like, she's like, son, it's like, grandson, it's not working. You just bought it. I know something ain't wrong with it. We gotta order another one. I'm like, let me take a look at it before you go spend the money. So I look at the remote. I'm like, there's no damage. There's no water. There's nothing wrong. It's not sticky. So I took the back off, look at the batteries, and special. She had the batteries on the positive, on the negative side, and the negative on the positive side. Just like goofy, and she was all stressing and bugging. I'm like, lady, did you <laughs> take your time? Like, <laughs> that's actually like that. That's to me. Like, was that your first near death experience, or how many near death experiences have you had? Yeah, that was the first one. Um, okay, I've had three. Yeah, I, I don't like them. <laughs> no, I, I don't think anybody likes them. I think that's just what makes us all like unique. We're like, oh man, you almost died. So what you do? You know, so, like, my first near-death experience, um, I'm allergic to coding, right? So, when I tell them that, like, oh, my gosh, you can't have link, but here's the crazy thing. I had link, but I didn't get an allergic reaction. Like, I got I to, gotta, like, Chuck, do something to God for that one, right? Anyway, right. so, um, what happened was my throat has closed up. And so I thought I was going to die. So I started confessing all my sins I did up until that age. Because I'm like, if I'm going to die, I want to go to heaven, right? Uh, I didn't die. All right, so second near-death near death experience was when I was, I, there was no floor mat in the shower, and I slipped and fell out the shower while I was trying to grab onto the water. <laughs> <laughs> got the first thing you see. <laughs> I'm like, let me try to grab onto the water, you see, if you know, but no, and I had, uh, I got a, like a scar on my arm because I was so close to hitting the counter. Right. And a third near death experience, like I used to live in a home. The person who lived in our home at the time, he was like doing felonious activities, right? right. And so he had like the police come and raid our house and like I saw guns in my face. I'm like you know, I was I don't know, I was spooked. Um, yeah, it was the first time I got put in handcuffs unwanting willingly. You know, <laughs> I mean I don't mind being handcuffed, but like it has to be the right setting. Okay. Uh, yeah, shout out to rapper the game. He's supposed to handcuff me, but he don't want to return back. To, you know, return my phone calls back. But it's okay. <laughs> guess we're going to see other people now. <laughs> I guess he didn't moved on now. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, have, have you ever tried sliding into a celebrity's DMs? Not yet. I ain't gonna fake Danny Lay before she got the baby, and like Tanisha, that's my wife. I be contemplating. I'm like, how? What can I say to them that's gonna get their attention? I might just All do some you outrageous. Say hello. All you gotta do is say hello. <laughs> I know you probably get this a lot, but you're really pretty. But hey, I mean, you feel like checking me out? Cool. If you don't, I mean, that's your loss. No, don't say that. But hey, I mean, <laughs> it might get the response though. Like, that's gonna make you sound like a hater. It's gonna get you a response. It might get you a response though. They're gonna be like, "Nah, I'm good without you." Look, listen. When this when this recording ends, we'll play the part that I just said back and say that to them. And I mean, again. I, what I re- learned a long time ago is because my, my message when I sent a uh, game a message, it was just more so, hey, I live in Atlanta. Anytime that you're in Atlanta, just, you know, I, I, you know, I work here. You can come see me and we can have an all day date. That's it. You know, it was it was simple. It wasn't like, hey, look, I'm trying to go to bed with you. And here's a picture of my cooter, whatever it might be. I'm not I'm not doing that. I try to keep it classy. Okay, class is what I try to do. But I realize, like, number one, a lot of these celebrities don't run their own accounts. Nope. So you have people out there who run their accounts. So your your DM might not ever get seen in type of, that type of stuff, you know. And on top of that, that man's got twelve million followers. I'm pretty sure, like, many people have tried writing him. So <clears throat> mine is in few, and it's okay. And one day, like I said, if I don't get a chance to, to meet him. It's okay. This ain't in the world. I mean, I, I done went through so many crushes. I, my first crush, my first crush was Little Bow Wow. And I knew for a fact, I started, I chose men, chose the wrong men early when I chose Bow Wow over Romeo, honey. Okay. <laughs> and I mean, I mean just, just looking at him now, I'm like, bro, like, you're still short and you are still like, like, um, that Napoleon complex, yeah, man. You that don't basketball hit. You don't hear nothing about Romeo. Like Romeo is like he he was really raised correct, like right by his 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 father, you know. And you you can just tell the difference between um, Bow Wow's parenting and and Romeo's parents and everything else, you know. And so 
with all that being said, uh, with all that being said, I mean, it's okay. You live and you learn. And I'm like, my crush just went from, like, just a, a slew of different people um, over a course of time and everything. And, I mean, I, you know, a lot of women, they love Michael B. Jordan. I mean, I think he's attractive, but, I mean, I'm not going to sit here, go goo goo gaga and say very lewd things in, in, in the comments. I'm like, good grief, you women are worse, sometimes worse than the men. Yeah, right? <laughs> Freakiest, creepiest thing a woman's ever said to you that made you feel uncomfortable, either in DM or in person or through text. <clears throat> oddly enough, like the ones I mess with, it's kind of classy. I think the only one that was kind of like weird was like she's like, "Let's play a glow in the dark game, and I'm gonna spray whipped cream all over you, and then I'm gonna lick you until you start screaming." And I'm what? like, "Who is gonna be Wait, screaming?" Was like, she, was she black? Yeah. So, oh wow. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm was just she like. Goth? Black? No, nah, that's why I'm. She's hood black, and I'm just like, what part did you grow up in? And I'm like, this ain't how we talk. <laughs> this ain't how I'm not used to this. So I'm just like, I'm a. We gonna keep you pushing, like. <laughs> wow, um, maybe that type of stuff turns. It, it works. You, you, you know what I realized a long time ago? When when you have a person say something crazy to you, it's work. Why do you think you got men out there who don't mind? offering random heads to women that they don't know. You know how many men I get on a monthly basis who want to try to, like, give me some head? Like, hey, man, let me let me lick that. I said, why don't you, why don't you lick this light bill? That's due. Okay, you can lick that. Get out of my face. <laughs> or, or how about the men at the gas station be like, oh, my goodness, you so attractive, you so fine. If I'm so fine, why don't you pay for my gas then? Dude, that's what that's that that be the problem with a lot of these cats, man. They be trying to holler at me, right? They're like, hey, what's your number, right? I'm like, why? So you can just text me all day? You ain't even having nothing to talk about through DM. So why, what makes you think I'm going to give you my number? You have nothing to talk about. Like, bro, like, you are boring. Okay? You have not. I'm the one c- c- carrying the conversation on. Yeah. It's like, you're like, why? So you can keep on what you're doing with me? I'm fisting somebody. You want to join. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm, I'm, I'm snorting some cocaine right now. I'm about, to, I'm about to shift some off to you. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe because of me, I'm always like, I love phone calls because I ain't got time to cipher no logic, no text. I'm telling you, man, people will sit here and send you a whole thesis statement and expect you to respond back to that. Guess what I do? I read the first sentence and I respond to that first sentence. I'm going to let you figure out the rest. I'm not going to read all that. Yeah, I hate when people send paragraphs. Like, I told people to stop doing that. It's just for my birthday. It's like, I understand the love, but happy birthday is just as good as 13 lines, 14, 28 lines. Cause I'm like, who's reading this book? And I, I tell my best friend, and she got pissed off. I was like, look, dude, don't send me a long paragraph of nothing. I'm like, I'm going to read your first sentence and your last sentence. So if you feel like I missed some information, then I want you to assume what I might have been thinking when I was reading this message when I wasn't reading this message. Because everything else you said is irrelevant. That's why I tell people, I'm like... But that's what's funny, too, though, because, like, I'm in the midst of don't call me neither. I say don't call me unless it's an emergency because people rather call you and be like, yo, what you doing? And I'm like, yo, either I'm at work or I'm doing something or I'm learning something. And it's like, oh, OK. And it's like, what? No, I just want to talk to you. OK, about what? No, I just want to see what you was doing. Click. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, you wasted my time now. Like, what's, what's, the, what's the craziest excuse you've ever given somebody to get off the phone or have you just hung up? It, like your phone dies. it really depends on the person. Because, like, honestly, like, my favorite thing is when they're talking or not talking, I just go, guess what? And they'll go, what? And I hang up right there and there. Or after I tell them ahead of time, I'm like, the first time you say what, huh? What you say? It's a click. Or the one time where we, I was in the car and, like, the person was just bothering me. I'm like, what do you want? And I'm just like, but they knew I was out. This is how I was able to utilize it. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, hold on, bro, I got to call you back. Um, they're like, what happened? I'm like, y'all got to go get this da 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 Click. I ain't even finished the, the excuse. I just clung up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so crazy? I remember there was this one woman. Like, this is how I am. I like hanging out with guys because I realize men are typically, typically men are, you know, filled with less drama than women. Okay? I always tell people that the worst type of gender reveals find out your man's a bitch. Okay? There's <laughs> a lot of men out there who are like that. Okay? Unfortunately, I don't know what's up with y'all, but y'all got a little bit too much, too much estrogen going on in your body. But I digress. So, what happened was, this one woman, um, and another reason I don't kick it, like, too tight, hang tight with women is that, like I said, they bring drama and they want to sit here and vent about a man 
who everybody, including the man, knows that they're not supposed to be together. Yeah. You sit here complaining about the fact that he doesn't gave you crabs. That's an old ass disease. He's messing with. He's messing, messing with Ruth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're upset with the fact that he gave you STD and you keep on having kids by him and all that. Come on now. C- come on now. You know, whatever. But anyway, there, there used to be this one woman, right? She actually used to babysit me um, when I was uh, an infant child. And so what happened was as time progressed, we hooked back up together and I would watch um, some of the kids in the center. And so she told me one day that her first son was a product of an affair that she found this married man who's like 30 years older than her. Um, he <laughs> <laughs> This married, you know what? people who actually start dating I think anything over this is just me anybody who's over the five years older than me like like six years like five years is my limit but who knows God might his, my husband might be eight years older than me but I hope not back to the story <laughs> so so but I think anything that's over like nine years older it's kind of like okay bro looks a little predatory but you know what's so crazy is like a lot of these men just don't care like why do you think that that they're trying to make the legal age of consent like younger and younger? Because there's a lot of predators out there. Even with my um, even with my new uh, dread, like my new lock style, I look like a child. I mean, I've always looked young anyway, but I look like a child. I look like I'm probably like 15 years old, right? <laughs> there's some men out there who's still gonna try to holler at me, and I'm like, bro. I mean, I can literally. I mean, not that if I'm showing my body off, but if I'm like really dressed down. And they see me like, oh, she has a vagina. I'm going to holler at her. I'm like, bro, if you don't get the hell on, back to the story. So what happened was is that she, uh, she she ended up being this guy. He's like 30 years older than her. Uh, she actually, she said at the time she didn't care that he was married. And he took her, um, him away from his wife, okay? And so they had a child, and they only stayed married for like five, ten years. Ten years at the max. She says, I, once I married him, it was like hell. She says, I had to get up out of there. But let me tell you what happened. This, this is where, where all this comes to an end, right? She now has gotten to the point where she cannot, last I checked, because I haven't heard from her in over a year, but last I checked, she was suffering and trying to find a stable relationship, okay? And so she would vent to me, like, for as long as she could. Months would go on. Probably close to a year, her talking about the same guy. And it got to the point where I'm like, I don't even remember me telling her, no, I don't want to hear that. She said one day I yelled at her, no, I don't want to hear that. And I don't even remember me saying that, but I'm glad I did say that. (laughs) But regardless of all that being said, uh, she literally, like I said, this woman's in her 60s. She literally cannot find love. She's unhappy, all that type of stuff. And I'm like, bro, why do you think I want to hear that? This is your karma. Like, I don't, I mean, and she's like, well, Kendra, you know, as a friend, you're supposed to listen to people vent. No, you don't. That's how you kill friendships. You sit there and talk about the same thing over and over again. It's always negative. I will literally just put the phone down, let her vent, right? And I come back, and I come back 20 minutes later, she's still talking. Hey, look, my my refrigerator is open. Let me call you back. (laughs) (laughs) Now, there is so much more to this podcast. And if you want to see the rest of it, Click the link in the bio. There's a link to the anchor that has the rest of the other 10 minutes. Because that part is probably more important.